Today on Cool Tools, we're heading east, far east. I'm talking Hong Kong, China East. We'll check out the sights, sounds, and maybe some smells as we make our way around the city and visit two important trade shows, the International Lighting Fair and the Building Materials and Hardware Fair. And they got all kinds of good stuff. Like a shower head with LED lights that run hot and cold. An alarm system that sends alerts to your keychain. Someone into the, your car. Nice, nice. Look like right. come out of kegger, kegger, kegger. Plus, a screw that needs no pre-drilling. You're saying it's not gonna crack the wood? Uh, yes. Lights to wear on your vest or on your head. Plus, a new twist for wrought iron. Ah, uh, boom, I did that in 10 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, we're getting our groove on in Hong Kong. That's China, baby. Cool tools, Hong Kong style. Hey, I'm Chris Grundy, and welcome to a special edition of Cool Tools from Hong Kong, China. We traveled halfway around the world so we could check out the sights, the sounds, and of course, more tools. Hong Kong is a major port city with a population of 7 million. Once a part of the British Empire, it returned to Chinese control in 1997. With China now a manufacturing hub, Hong Kong is a trade show mecca. In each October, nearly 2,000 exhibitors and 40,000 buyers infiltrate Hong Kong for two major events. The International Lighting Fair and the International Building Materials and Hardware Fair. At the lighting show alone, there's products from over 30 countries. We're talking stuff from every continent except Antarctica. That means we got two great shows to check out and see what they have to offer. At the Asia World Expo, this is where they got the tools. Let's go. The International Building Materials and Hardware Fair is over 18,000 square feet of all kinds of merchandise. So we got lots to see. Let's start with some tricked out lighting for your bathroom. We're talking LEDs from West Eye Electronics that light up your faucet or shower head. Cool thing is, they work with water pressure. So the water pressure powers the lights? Yeah, 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 yeah. OK, so I don't, I don't need a battery or, or? No battery. And check this. When the water changes temperature, they change color. Blue for cold, white for medium, and red for hot. Yeah. So you can know before you step in if it's the temperature you want it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that, I like that, because I don't like to get something real cold when I'm not ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And if you want different colors, you can customize these lights any way you like. It's a little bling for your bathroom from West Eye. Here in Hong Kong, we're seeing a lot of high-tech stuff. And there's something new around every corner. If you're looking for a new way to protect your tools, I got something right here. This protection system from Newset lets you know when somebody's trying to snatch your goods. We got a padlock, mm -hmm. and we got a two-way LCD remote. The system monitors multiple padlocks, and if someone tries to break one of them, it sends a signal to your keychain and tells you which one is busted. It's gonna send me, it's gonna tell me what's going on. Yeah. It also comes with a motion detector, so you're gonna know if someone's even near your stuff. Right here, we arm the system. Okay. Oh, you move. Oh! Boom! It sends you a signal. Yeah, that sends you the signal. Someone into the, your car. Nice, nice. Look like right. come out of kegger, kegger, kegger. It's called the DIY Vehicle Protection System, and the signal works in a radius of about one mile. And to get one... So you're going to buy it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, yes. You're only going to drop about 200 US dollars. All right, how about this? Is this enough? Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Here's another high-tech tool for the job site. It's a digital level from Lysire that's accurate within a tenth of a degree. And if you want to be level with something that's across the room, a laser will mark the spot. Turn it on. Oh, so when you are level, yes. boom, it'll go across yes. and hit that. The display panel rotates 180 degrees, so you can read it wherever you're standing. So if you're up high, you can still yes. see it through the top. That's pretty cool right there. It also measures pitch and angles, even from a distance. From oh, this branch to that. Gotcha. Yeah, right. It's going to be 10 degrees. degrees. Yeah. 27. 27 degrees. Yes. OK. Measure angles, distance, and keep it all level. Mm, yeah. Well, look at that. And now, how about something for the yard? 
It's a multi-tool trimmer from CEL called the Power Stick. As a grass trimmer, it features a nylon blade instead of a string line. So that's cool, you can just get in there and get it! Get it. What else does it do? Well, uh, it can also be converted into an edger. Okay. It's like, yeah. Look at that. Now you got an edger. That's pretty tight. Then, by switching the attachments, you got a hedge trimmer with a swiveling head. So, you can just change the angle, boom, all the way, click. Now you can go up high. Yeah, get it up there. That's pretty cool. Nice and lightweight. So, Eva, I'm sure this is easy for you. Uh, easy. Easy. I can do it, you can do it. Uh, you can be <laughs> seen, we can both do it. The power stick is powered by an 18 volt lithium ion battery. So, if your lawn needs a little fine tuning, hit it with a stick. This is Eva, this is CEL, baby. You boom, the power stick. Coming up, we're heading back to the building materials fair to check out some more hardware, like a wood screw that needs no pre drilling. Yeah! A welding square that holds your workpiece with a magnet that you can turn on and off. Put it on there, lock it down. Oh! And we got a tool to help you make your own works of wrought iron. Boom, I did that in 10 seconds. And stay tuned, because when we get back, we're going to show you something big. We're heading up the mountain to check out a relic from each Chinese culture. More cool tools from Hong Kong coming up. So who's buying and who's selling here at the hardware fair? It's open to everybody, but location is key. 97% of the exhibitors are from Hong Kong, Taiwan, and mainland China. As for the visitors, more than 80% are from Asia. There's only a couple hundred people here from North America, and I'm one of them. I'm your eyes and ears, and I'm gonna let you know what's new in tools on the other side of the globe. The Tian Tan Buddha is one of the most visited sites near Hong Kong, so we had to take a ride up to see what it's all about. This 110-foot tall Buddha is made almost entirely out of bronze and weighs about 560,000 pounds. So when was this cultural relic built? This Buddha was built over seven million years ago. Oh, thousand, seven thousand years ago. Nine, 1993? Can you believe this guy is only 17 years old? Back at the convention, we take a break from sightseeing to scope out some new tools. Check this out. If your wood piece cracks every time you drive a screw, it might be time to find a better fastener. Can I uh, get into one of these here? Yeah. Spike screws are designed to kick the crack habit. You're saying it's not gonna crack the wood? Uh, yes. That's what you're claiming? <laughs> uh, yeah. I wanna see that. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. The patented serrated threads of a spec screw cut through the wood fibers. So instead of pre-drilling a hole, you're just driving the screw right through it. You just get your screw in there and yeah! Yeah. Spec screws are designed to work with a T-star bit to get more torque and more power. You gotta get the right bit. Yeah. I mean, that's how it works. You ain't got the right bit, you ain't got... Yeah, you ain't... <laughs> <laughs> Spec screws come in a bunch of makes and models for all types of projects. Thank you, William. Thank you. That's a good screw. If you're a welder, the Adjusto from Strong Hand Tools can help you square up angle welds without clamps. The Adjusto is a magnetic welding square that turns on and off with the flip of a switch. Put it on there, lock it down. Oh, you picking stuff up, baby, I'm telling you. When it's off, it slides into place easily. And when it's on, it locks your materials down. You put it where you want to, you can get a 45 degree, you can get a 90 degree, it's on there, baby. And you can just lay the bead right there. The Adjusto comes in three sizes and works on flat, brown, square, and angle stock. Retail starting at about 20 bucks. It's got the power, baby! Ah! There's a few European companies here at the hardware show. 
One of them is an Austrian company called Eisenkopf. Eisen stands for iron. Kopf stands for power. Power. It's a series of nine tools to help you make your own wrought iron decor. Grills, gates, fences. There is no border except your creativity. Okay. Okay. So let's let's create something. Why should I work? Come on, <laughs> you make a basket now. I'll do it. I'll this do basket it. is previously it was the masterpiece of a blacksmith, okay. and now a complete newcomer. He can do the job. We start like this. We just take four square bars, weld them together on both ends, and insert them then into the collets. And now, please twist to the first direction, which is this way. Clockwise, yeah. Okay. Oh. Well done. Okay. Twist through. Twist it back. back. Oh, yeah. Okay. To gain consistency, we just insert the spacer bars and continue twisting until all the bars are in contact. Depending on what you like, you can make your basket tighter or looser. He likes it his way. I like it mine. Another quintessential shape of wrought iron is the scroll. You know, a blacksmith. Yeah. He needs about 40 minutes for just one stroll. Wow. Okay, we're done now. You made a perfect stroll without the years of experience. Boom, I did that in 10 seconds. Sometimes take 40 minutes when you're an expert. Now, here's the rub. Because Eisencroft prefers to do business in person, you can only buy this at a trade show. Can't get this on the internet. Sure not. People can't get this in a store. They come to my shows. They gotta come to the show. With the Eisencroft system, you don't have to be a pro to twist metal like one. Iron power. Up next, we're heading across town to the Hong Kong International Lighting Fair to check out some tools with some high-tech flair, like a flashlight that never needs a bulb change, or an LED light you can wear on your head. Now I'm with you. Now you're with me. <laughs> and a lighted vest to keep you and your crew a little safer. Because we'll be right back. Oh, God, how do I say that? It's a king. It's a king. <laughs> But first, there's a lot of construction going on in Hong Kong. But you won't always see the kind of metal scaffolding you see at home. Here, they often use bamboo poles to form a scaffold's main frame. It's a readily available resource in this area and is amazingly durable. Turns out, bamboo scaffolding is lightweight, inexpensive, and can be contoured for irregular design. But who knew it was strong enough to support all that weight? Welcome back to Cool Tools. We're here in Hong Kong, baby. Hong Kong is truly a city of lights. In fact, every year, this energy-hungry metropolis consumes around 50 billion kilowatt hours in electricity usage. So, it's no surprise that the world's largest lighting event happens here. The Hong Kong International Lighting Fair is held the same week as the Building and Hardware Show, but it takes place across town at the Convention and Exhibition Center. And with over 200,000 square feet of exhibits, this show is massive. So how many people come to this thing? Uh, 28,000 people 20, come. 000. And 20,000 of them come from overseas. Really? Yes. Wow. Wow. That's it's amazing. a big show. It's got everything from the latest in LED technology to some killer light fixtures. Look at that. Huh? That is a lot of chandelier up in this joint. Since Cool Tools isn't so much about decorating, we're on the hunt for lighting stuff you can work with. And one of the first things we found is a lighted safety vest. You ever need to keep yourself a little safe, maybe your crew a little safe too? Well, I got something for you. It's a safety vest. It's called the EL Safety Vest, and it's by Fullcom Marshall. It's cool because it's got lights in it, okay? This thing is powered. This isn't just about reflection. This is about illumination, okay? The electroluminescent lights are powered by four AAA batteries and can last up to 12 hours of continuous use. Oh, yeah, you feeling that? That's nice. This is orange, but it comes in three colors. It's all about being seen, staying safe, and it makes me look sexy. They got all kinds of flashlights here, too. The tool light from Rainbow is all about multifunction. For starters, it's got a high-powered LED spotlight. 
for long distance. It can reach about 500 meter at least. A bank of 33 smaller LEDs sheds a wider path of light, perfect for your workspace. Found to make a big area, you can open this one. It also flashes red for emergencies. You can get attention from other person. The tool light is rechargeable and works up to six hours on one charge. And with LEDs, you know you won't be changing a bulb anytime soon. You know, the Korea LED have 100,000 hours life guarantee for you. That means once you buy this flash light, you can use it your whole life. It's the tool light from Rainbow. It's multifunctional, it's rechargeable, and it's very useful. <laughs> They got more work lights at the Ningbo Electric booth, where we meet up with Hunter Sam, a cool guy who's showing us a cool LED headlamp. I like that it can do a couple of different things, you know, get a little brighter, get a little brighter, uh -huh. and then you're in the club. Yes, interesting. <laughs> right? <laughs> you got some other cool lights here? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's go take a look at them. Ningbo also sells a solar and battery powered lantern you can use for mood lighting. Yes, that's that's for the nighttime, for the yes. girlfriend type thing. Yes. I hear what you're saying. Yes, yeah, sweet <laughs> works to your wife. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so you're sweet. Dirty. You're yes. dirty. All yes. right, cool. <laughs> they also have a solar powered light that can be charged manually. You can crank it, and that'll give you some energy, and then you just dig it, dig it, get it. Yes, and then you're back in the club. It's LED powered lighting from Ningbo Electric. Just bust out your lights and just boom, da da boom, right? <laughs> I see you, you freak, Sam. I know you. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. If you like what you're seeing, we got a lot more on our website at diynetwork.com/cooltools. Find out how to use and where to buy the products you're seeing today, and you can even watch more episodes of Cool Tools. Still ahead. We got a lithium powered multi tool that cuts, sands, and polishes. You go right through it, a man! Yeah! And we're stopping by a booth where you can buy just about any tool you need right here and now. Can I get one of these? And we're checking out a few marketplaces in Hong Kong where you can get all sorts of souvenirs to take home. If you change that dial, I'm going Hong Kong fully on you. Here in Hong Kong, the average home is smaller than 700 square feet in size. So that means if you're going to live here, you're going to need tools that can save space and multitask. The Multi 2 Pro from C Enterprises cuts, sands, polishes, and removes grout, among other things. Oh, that's nice. The saw attachment cuts all kinds of materials. Nice. You want to make some outlets, so forth like that? You can cut right through with this. It also features a variable speed control a work light, and changing out the attachments is like nothing. Quick as pie. I mean, apple pie. Not like lemon meringue, which takes a long time. Just a quick apple pie. If you got a lot of projects, the Multi 2 Pro can do a lot of things and save you a little space, too. That's all you need. Boom! Next tool! This is where it's happening. If you're coming to Hong Kong, you may want to leave with some souvenirs. For that, we went to an area in the heart of the city known as Times Square. How you doing? Don't want to talk? Okay, that's cool. Uh, you know, uh, all right, well, how about I call you? We also went to Stanley Market on the south side of Hong Kong Island, where you can find anything from t-shirts to produce. Back at the convention, we're scoping out a few more things. And, uh, you know, he's going to go and look around. What are you guys doing? One of the cool things about this place is you can find a booth where you can get the tools right here and now. You go into the booth, they got tools everywhere. You give them some money, and they give you your tools. Oh, that's nice right there. Ladders, you can come right in here and get a ladder if you want to. Can I get one of these? Now, we're going to get a bunch of stuff. Hold on. What do we got right here? Woo! 
You can get all this back on the plane. You're in good shape. What do you got over there? Oh, you can smell it. You smell that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I'll take these. Mm, walking away with tools. Right on, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. We'll see you. Well, that about wraps it up from here in Hong Kong. Hey, you want to talk about a cool city? Hong Kong has a lot to offer. Whether you're coming for the sights or a convention, I think you're going to dig this town. Hey, thanks for watching. We had a great time. If you want more information on any of the tools you've seen today, just go to our website at DIYNetwork.com. Now, I got to catch a plane. See you next time. Don't change that channel. <laughs> How do I say that? Mo Jin Tai. Mo Jin Tai. Because we'll be right back. How do I say that? It's a king. It's a king. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>